It's just a fan fiction, a story written by me, a writer. This has nothing to do with mentioned ideal BTS members, real life event, behavior, characters. Fake sound videos which are used in this video are not mine. Where it goes to rightful owners. But the editing and the storyline is mine. Do not copy it. A woman in her mid twenties named Kim Vyan was looking at the mirror while doing her makeup. She had to go with her husband named Kim Vyan, who was in his early thirties, to his parents' place for Thanksgiving party. She was a little nervous while doing her makeup as she had to face her mother-in-law today, who didn't like her even a bit. Vyan and Kim met other almost five years ago. She was doing a postgraduate in nursing back then. That time he happened to go to hospital where she studied to see his friend who was admitted there. But he mistakenly went to the room where she was presenting her research paper to her professor. The first meeting was chaotic because he accidentally disturbed the whole class. Little did he know, along with the class, he also disturbed his own feelings, fortunately hers too. Their eyes met each other and they both were attracted to each other on that first sight. A week after Kaya came to hospital again, but neither his known one was admitted there nor he needed checkup. He went there to ask the girl out with whom he was attracted to. He wanted to know her, to go on a date with her, and if luck was on his side, then to go on a date with her. He felt satisfied when his feelings and actions towards her were fully reciprocated by her. They started to go on dates, started to know each other's choices. Soon they fell in love. Her parents also liked him. After all, he was such a gentleman with a reputable family. His father also liked his son's choice of wife, but his mother didn't like her. She was against her son dating a middle class family's daughter. She wanted to marry off her son to her friend's daughter who belonged to wealthy family like Thayang's. She also wanted someone who was in their early 20s as her daughter-in-law, not someone like Vyan who had passed her mid-20s. But Thayang was no less than his mother in stubbornness. So at last he still married Vyan almost one year ago after dating her for almost more than three years. What are your intentions darling? Want to pacify your husband with your looks or what? Through the mirror, she looked at the source of the voice and found her husband, Taehyung, standing behind her while wearing a black blazer and trousers with white shirt. Cheesy much, huh? She rolled her eyes while her cheeks got adored with a faint pink hue. Only for you, darling. Only for you. He backhugged her who was busy wearing her long gold chain earring to match with her full sleeve e-line maroon dress. How much more time precious? At this speed, we would be reaching the venue when all the people would be leaving.
As soon as they entered the party, the young dad noticed them and came towards them smilingly. "Welcome, my children. Welcome." Both of them bowed at Mr. Kim. "How are you, Thea? And you, Vaiyan?" "We are fine, Appa. I hope you are healthy." "By God, Grace, we are. But what took you so long?" You should know the answer that after all you were married to mom for long years these wives takes too much time to get ready Mr Kim laughed whereas Wayne playfully hit his arms you should not say this much truth now anyways come the young let me introduce you to some guest and Wayne go to your mother in law her all friends were asking for you go go Mr Kim smilingly told her then took her towards Mrs Kim and her circle if he wasn't happy and busy talking to Thea Young he would have noticed how Mrs Kim's smiling face turned into disgust after seeing Vaiyan Mrs Kim's friends like Mrs West Mrs Knight and many more then started to chat with Vaiyan after all she was Thea Young's wife Kim family's daughter in law So Vaiyan, when are you going to give us good news? The said woman's cheeks got red hearing the elder woman's question, whereas Mrs. Kim rolled her eyes. It's just almost been a year we got married, so there's still time left for it. But still, you should think about having a child. You will have trouble if you enter in your thirties. Vain accurately smiled at her not knowing what to say. You know it's uh, such a proud thing to become a mother. Ask us all. I doubt she even ever want to have a child. Everyone gasped hearing Mrs Kim's words whereas Vain looked hurt. What are you saying? I'm saying the truth, right? You want to hold your figure that's why you have not conceived yet otherwise how will you keep thing attracted to yourself your age will show why is her break hearing mrs kim insulting her with her age oh mo that's why i say women should always marry before their mid 20s look at my daughter in law she just gave birth to my grandchild but still same as before I am not in my late thirties. I am just in my late twenties only. This is not late. Plus, if after giving birth a husband is not considerate of his wife's gained weight, then I don't think a wife should have had child with her husband. After all, how can he think of his preference or attraction during the time which should be exclusively dedicated only to nurture their baby? And one more thing, there's nothing to be proud to become just a mother. Animals also give birth now and then. Most humans do too. It's nothing revolutionary. This is just how nature works. Only if you bring up your children nicely, teach them good manners, help them to become successful in their life. teach them to help others to respect others only then you can take pride as a mother after all a monster is birthed by a woman whereas a savior too is birthed by a woman but the savior's mother is worshiped whereas the monster's is cursed There's nothing to be proud to be in mother of a drunken abusive careless man a gentleman's mother should take all pride of the world to raise a child in such a nice way All ladies fumed at how Wayne said those words they find her words offensive they all looked at Mrs Kim she didn't like the way her son's low society wife talked to all high society women like that
How dare you, low life? Talk to us like that. How dare you? Before Vyan could respond to her words, Mrs. Kim slapped her across her face. The sound of the slap echoed in the hall, and everyone looked at the scene. The young for a moment was shocked, but he quickly gathered himself. He rushed towards his wife, who was looking down, while her left palm was resting on her cheek, whereas the right was clenched in tight. Vyan, are you okay? She didn't reply him, but he felt her gritting her teeth, indicating how angry she was. He then looked at his mother and said in a loud tone, "What the heck, mom? Have you forgotten your manners or what? Who the hell slapped your daughter-in-law and on top of that in front of so many people?" Your wife deserved it. That's why I had to stoop at the same level as her, which is lower than gutter. Have you lost your mind? What are you saying? You shut up. I told you not to invite her or her family during her celebration. Thank God that low class people didn't come, but she had to. Not a damn word against my parents, Mrs. Kim. Not even a single. Or else I will forget you were Thayang's mother and had raised him. I was saying simple logical words, which didn't seem to be absorbed by your so-called high-class brain, which unfortunately seemed to live in 15th century. And my bad. I tried to have a conversation with fools, and very thanks for the reward. I'm waiting at the parking area, Thea. If you don't want to go home now, inform me. I will manage myself. Then, without waiting for his reply, she went from there. How egoistic and rage-filled you can get, Mom, that you raised your hand on my wife. I'm feeling ashamed of being your son today. And let me tell you, just because it's my wagon, tomorrow there won't come any police for you doing against your daughter-in-law. Not because she can't, mom, but because she loves me and knows I would feel pain seeing you in that state. But don't assume this her weakness. If it happens again, she won't stay silent. I would support her too. Look what that low class taught you. You are practically threatening your mother. If the truth seems like a threat to you, then what can I do? For now on, don't expect me to respect you like before. You lost me while holding the meaningless virtue of high class, which is derived by money instead of moral values. Obviously, I won't neglect my duties towards you as your only child, but that would be only formalities because you never abandoned me as your child. You will regret being with that woman, Thea. She would bring shame into our family, humiliate us. At least not like how my father's wife did today. He took a last glance at his dad, who gave him an apologetic look. Then he went outside, leaving from there. At the young and wise home, are you okay, love? He asked his wife, who was laying on their bed while staying under the duvet, facing the side wall. I'm very angry right now, Thayang. So shut up. I don't want to curse your mother or call her in names in front of you. She told him sternly, whereas he laid beside her and hugged her. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that she did this. 
I wouldn't have been this angry if she did this due to motherly anger or if I had actually done something wrong. My own mother didn't slap to me since I grew up there. I know love, I know. I'm sorry that this happened. I honestly never imagined she would become blind in ego. Feeling his tender touch this time, she melted. Tears formed in her eyes and started to fall on her cheeks, wetting her cheeks. Only because you wanted your mother to accept me happily, I tried all these years to have conversation with her. Unless, unless you don't take efforts to please everyone. You love very few people in your life and you are content with it. Others' opinion doesn't matter. I know love, I know. I would never accept you to have a good bond with her again. Never again. I won't stop you from meeting her or in future if by God's grace you, we have kids. I won't stop you from letting her to meet them. But please, don't expect me to attend your side of functions anymore. How will I tell you when I won't go myself either? Now please stop crying. Have you seen how your eyes become? Now how will you see the nail paints I have brought for you? Huh? He turned her face towards him and wiped her tears. Nail paints. Yeah, today's Thanksgiving, right? I brought them yesterday as a present for you. He said as if cursing a child while trying to distract her. Didn't you brought anything for me? She let out a small laugh, seeing his tactics. Will you take offense if I say no? Not only I take offense, but will punish you too. 